Hey guys, what's up? It's a cold day today and I already went to the city, to downtown, to buy some of the stuff for the Christmas present that I want to give to my wife. So it's kinda 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 cold out there and I hate the cold weather to be honest. I really like sun and I'm really jealous about you who are living at the east coast of the US, maybe in California. The guys who are just enjoying nice weather. German weather is also known to be just cold and rainy in the winter. And that means I just like to just stay in my house, stay in our living room right here, in which I'm always recording the videos. And right now, before I'm moving on with the present that I'm going to gift my wife on Christmas, I need to create a wireframe because I want to make a video about the wireframe as I'm designing it in Sketch in a few days, in a few weeks, I guess. So let's jump in, let's create a wireframe of a plan selection. So I guess you probably already chose a plan before in your life. Maybe you chose a basic plan which was free or a premium plan. And I just wanted to create a wireframe of that, create a sketch because it's important to just create the sketches and to just know what you're going to design. Yeah, yeah. Letters to kind shells and blank faces Good gas, full tanks in the next cell I'm used to move from city to city, different places Only making me comfortable in the street light Love letters to missed calls to find women Brought a chick since that shit bad for my heart held Skin tone, a red bone, thick as fuck They came late, but that shit was worth waiting Love letters to past lives and future lovers Ain't perfect, surface isn't all I got Been contemplating conversation Constellations, complications with my Been watching like a spin. So now that I finished this, I want to move on with the Christmas present that I have for my wife. I already prepared a couple of things and I made this little top secret spot right here. I told her she's not allowed to look at it and I got some pretty cool products for her which are of course kind of expensive. So we have tea, we have something to eat, some snacks, here's my name that was kind of funny and uh, some other products that I want to give her because I think she really deserves to just uh, chill out in the bathtub or to just have a nice time there relaxing and I just wanted to give her these presents and I also bought some cool things today I wanted to present these presents not just in a normal box but in a customized box so I bought some other things for her, but the best thing, but the best I f***ing hate this tripod. Oops. So the best thing that I bought for my wife is a box, but it's not just one box. It's actually two boxes right here. I wanted to uh, customize these boxes with the spray paint that you already know uh, when I painted my classes. And I want to paint these boxes right now because she's out of house. She's, she went to university 
and she will be here at about like 10 p.m. or 8 p.m. or something like that so I have enough time to customize the boxes and to just uh, create something really cool for her that is like really personal because I made it. Um, not the best person at making gifts, you know, I'm just uh, actually quite bad at making gifts but this time I really want to give her something personal. So I'm going to head down to the basement right now to grab some of the painting colors that I need to spray uh, the boxes and I will just like show you how I'm painting the boxes. So the color needs to get dry now and I can just leave it outside because it's not raining. That's great. So I can uh, focus on other things right now. I think the, the result is kind of great. Of course I need to wait uh, until it's finished uh, and until it's dry. But I really had a fun time painting the, bo the boxes. And I also want to use the colors which I just used for painting a skateboard which you see right here. Now the skateboard the skateboard deck is in a pink color which is kind of great because I like the vibrant pink color and I want to paint this in my parents house so I'm definitely gonna make a video about that as well and I also wanted to point out in this video something that I didn't really talk about before but we are doing it every day while you are already watching the videos and maybe learning something I need to learn something as well of course I'm not perfect and I want to get better at everything that I'm doing that means we have to consume great content that is helping us to get better at creating products designing and whatever we are doing. So I attended a couple of conferences this year and all of the videos from the Beyond Telerun conference for example are already online. So you can watch uh, Mike Montero, you can watch uh, all the conference talks of the other speakers which were amazing. And then there was also the Adobe Max conference in I guess in uh, Los Angeles or something like that this year. And all of the videos of the conference are online as well, so we can watch them for free. And that is what I'm going to do right now because uh, the conference videos are giving us so much great content to learn from and to get inspired, which is just what I want right now while the boxes outside are getting dry. I have enough time to just sit here, relax for maybe like half an hour or an hour and like to just watch one of these episodes from the Adobe Max conference. Oh, so 
Guys, now you know that I made a Adobe XD video series on the channel where I explained some of the aspects of the app, but this is huge right now as I was watching one of the keynotes about Adobe XD. I saw that one of the presenters right there is using and creating prototypes just using their fingers on a touch interface and I can imagine that this is really fun to just have like a huge table or tablet and to create uh, awesome prototypes using Adobe XD. Now I want to show you the scene, you can also watch the videos, I will link them down below for you. I can use the tools, I can move things around, I can even go here in prototype mode and just quickly wire up some interactions. Now that's super amazing. I'm excited to see what will be possible using Adobe XD now with Adobe, this huge company in the background. I'm sure they will create something very nice in the future. So next on there is the live chat, which I'm going to do with the Patreons. I'm also uh, giving away some of the stickers of Marvel that they gave me, which are right here. Some of them are like a sketch gem. The old Marvel logo, I will get the new Marvel stickers very soon, but I still wanted to give them away. And we have Make Something You Love, which should probably be like the slogan of this video series. It's called Creative Every Day, but in the end it's Create Something That You Love. Okay guys, so right now I'm going to start the live chat. It's gonna be awesome. I'm so happy, I'm so pumped. I'm looking out for you to join the other live chats. There will be a live chat once a month for all the Patreon supporters who are pledging me uh, $5 or more every month. So if you want to join me, then head over to the Patreon page. I'm of course very thankful for the support on this platform because it's really helping me to buy new great equipment and to uh, continue making great videos and to invest even more time. And I hope you had a nice day. I had a blessed day. This was so much fun to just customize the box. After these boxes are dry, I'm going to customize them with a pen to just make some cool designs out, out of the box. And now, right now, I'm just waiting to start the live chat and I hope to see you somewhere as a part of the live chat as well. So have a nice day guys, bye!